Welcome back to Table Drop Zone. My name is Lok. And my name is Holger. And if you guys follow us around, you will know that we really, really love dice. Yeah, so our question is, how can we make dice rolling more immersive? Interesting. <laughs> more interesting and immersive. Yeah. <laughs> make it part of the game world. Don't let it stick out. Don't have like a, a weird dice rolling around uh, through your wonderfully crafted environment of trees and houses and, 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 and uh, mountains. But keep it somewhere yeah. in, a, in an environment where it just looks as if it belongs there. To yeah. a degree, I mean, it will always be dice, but you know. Yeah, I mean. and sometimes we um, uh, found out that the um, uh, uh, dice uh, chase is just also boring. Yeah, and it's 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 kind of a thing you have to keep somewhere near the table, and you can't really put it on the table, and it's always in the way. Yeah, and it's not like sometimes not fit to 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 the table. So. So we have some uh, new idea. How do we deal with it? To deal with it, let me first go to a completely different topic. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about moving. If you move, you have to buy new furniture, sometimes. Now we had to buy a lot of new furniture because we didn't bring anything from Singapore. So we have a lot of this stuff, packaging material from furniture, uh, packagings. Now, to some people, this is, this is garbage. But yeah. one man's trash is another man's treasure. To me, this <laughs> is crafting material. Yeah. So that's why we save all the... <laughs> Package, <laughs> package, <laughs> like that because look at that, it is so beautiful and we can make a lot of things from, from them, so yes, why not so. keep them all? <laughs> yes, so now we have a huge stash <laughs> and you will be crafting with it. And yeah. the first thing I want to show you is something that combines the two topics, immersive dice rolling and moving garbage. <laughs> And that is a beautiful dice tower. Yeah, that looks so awesome. Well, you throw the dice in on the top and then they come out at the bottom. Yeah. And it's not even magic. <laughs> and we, uh, uh, you also even have like, two places so uh, most person can uh, throw dice at the same time. It will be very cool. Yeah. So we can both roll at the same time and for example uh, for um, initiative etc yeah. yeah. you have the, the results next to each other nicely mm -hmm. nice nicely readable yeah yeah um, that being said um, how does the dice, the dice tower actually work I'm gonna put a little graphic in here so you put you have like tilted tilted uh, layers and you, you you throw the dice on the top and it, it rolls down uh, through gravity onto the next layer and then rolls down again and then gets pushed out again in the final layer. So it's a very simple construct, very something you can really do easily with just something that is sturdy and, and, and uh, can be glued in, in a tilted way. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we're going to show you how it's done. In detail. <laughs> in detail. In <laughs> so gruesome can, detail. <laughs> so you can definitely make it uh, at home because it's very, very simple. <laughs> yeah, absolutely simple. You only need to buy some IKEA furniture. <laughs> <laughs> For all of the material you see here, there are of course also uh, other uh, options, but we just want to show you what we, you can do if you have something like this. Yeah, one okay. thing to save the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. We will be using these honeycomb cardboard pieces in different sizes. And we will be using this super heavily pressed cardboard that's almost like wood. The bigger pieces of cardboard will be our back and front. So we will now use these to measure how long the pressed cardboard needs to be cut. We give it a little bit more wiggle room so it can stand out on both sides. We need three pieces and these can easily be cut with scissors. Next, we have to cut the honeycomb cardboard pieces. We will need three pieces that are a bit thinner for the sides and the center, and one piece for the back that is longer and one piece for the front that is shorter from the wider type of cardboard. The shorter one comes to the front it must be shorter so that the dice can roll out from underneath it. Next, we cut three downward facing slits into the thinner honeycomb cardboard pieces. We use the almost wood cardboard that we cut earlier to determine the length of each slit. We will cut on the lengthy side towards the inside of the cardboard. On one side, it is two slits 
and on the other side it is one slit that is right in the center of the other two. At this point do not worry about any cuts not being straight or some pieces being torn out. It will be covered up later. Once we have the pieces we can glue it all together using hot glue. Again do not worry too much about getting it perfect. All of this will be covered up so rather glue a little bit more than not enough. Now we simply push the almost wood pieces through the slots Glue them in place with hot glue and then we just close up the front. Before gluing the front in place, make sure that top and bottom are correct. Now let's make a short test. Now we glue everything onto a base. Here we should be a little bit more careful because some of it will be visible in the end. To catch the dies we add two bases to the front. Because we are creating a mountain, we will wrap everything in crumbled aluminum foil. This will give it some texture and some unevenness as you would have in nature. Make sure to not wrap the bottom floor as this would stop the dice from rolling freely. In the end it should look something like this. You can see that the top openings are not wrapped, the very bottom of the whole structure is not wrapped because here we will add some other stuff and of course the base are not wrapped. Now we glue some further extensions to the side to make it all a little bit less boxy and a little bit more organic. There's no real perfect way of doing this, just do what feels right to you. Next we mix up some water with PVA glue and use it to stick layer upon layer of kitchen roll on top of the whole structure. How many layers is completely up to you, I did about three to four layers. The important thing here is to really drench the kitchen roll that it nicely fills up with the PVA glue. Now you wait till it's completely dry. This can take quite a while depending on how many layers you have added. After that we add a nice thick layer of paint on top. I use grey and then I simply dry brush. For viewer convenience I also paint the inside of the trays in red and blue but this is purely optional. Now we add a layer of felt. Not just for optics but also to prevent damage to a battle mat. We simply put a thick layer of PVA glue on absolutely everything at the bottom and then press it onto the felt. Once the PVA glue has dried, we cut it to size and that is it. Now you know how it's essentially done. So it's deadly simple. I think everyone can make it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, you don't have to make it a mountain. You can make it a building. You can make it a different type of mountain. The sky is the limit, right? The, your imagination uh, is, is the only thing that, that, that tells you uh, where you can take this. Um, but the basic concept it's really simple to pull off and uh, uh, yeah, we'll just make it a bit more satisfying uh, to, to roll dice, maybe a bit more immersive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, definitely will bring some more fun to, to the game. Absolutely. So if you like this kind of video and you want to see more crafting videos or more videos of this style, then uh, do tell us in the comments below, uh, leave a like and a share the video. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet that would help us a lot and, and we're also very happy if you uh, do something similar and have uh, something new that we, you want to share with us please leave a link in and i hope it works that you can leave a link in the comment uh, we would love to see what you have uh, uh, done and and what you want to share with with everyone else and yeah so that's from our side with us uh, we will see you in the next video See you. Bye. Bye.